Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello, my dear students, and welcome back to this new English lesson for grade 8. I wish you time full of joy and benefit. Today, we will talk about changing nouns into pronouns. Again, the title of our lesson today will be about changing nouns into pronouns. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to change nouns into pronouns. Let's get started. First of all, what is a pronoun? Let's see. It's a word that is used instead of a noun. It takes the place of the noun. When the speaker and the listener both know who or what they are talking about. Again, what is a pronoun? It's a word that is used instead of a noun. It takes the place of the noun. When the speaker and the listener both know who or what they are talking about. Let's continue. Now, what about kinds of pronouns? We have three kinds of pronouns. First, the subject pronouns. Let's have an example about the subject pronouns. This is Ahmad. He is my best friend. Notice he is a subject pronoun and he refers to Ahmad. So, he here is a subject pronoun. The second type or the kind is the object pronouns. Let's have an example on the object pronouns. Ahmad moved to his new house. I visited him yesterday. Here the pronoun him came after the verb visited. So it's an object pronoun. Him refers to Ahmad. But here, him functions as an object, not a subject. The third type is the possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns. Let's have an example. This is Ahmad's car. I know it's his because he told me. Notice the pronoun his here is a possessive pronoun. His refers to Ahmad's car. So, these are the kinds of pronouns. Subject, object, and possessive. Let's continue. Let's revise some information about the pronouns. Here we have a table. We are going to read the subject pronouns, object pronouns, and possessive pronouns. I is the subject pronoun. The object pronoun from I is me, and the possessive pronoun is mine. Again, I, me, mine. He is the subject pronoun. Him is the object, and his is the possessive pronoun. Okay, he is the subject pronoun. The object pronoun is here, and the possessive pronoun is hers. We also have it which is the subject, its is the object pronoun, and the possessive pronoun is also its. We have also they is the subject, them is the object, and theirs is the possessive pronoun. We is the subject, us is the object, ours is the possessive pronoun. And the last, you is the subject, also you is or functions as an object, and the possessive pronoun from you is yours. Now, dear students, we have to go to your books, page 38, activity 2. In this activity, we are going to change nouns to pronouns, right? Let's start with the first example. I'm looking for Farida and Mahmoud. Farida's in a blue dress and Mahmoud's wearing a gray sweater. Now, where is the students the noun that we are going to replace it with a pronoun? Very good, Farida. Do you think Farida is a subject or an object? Very fine, it's a subject. So, what is the correct pronoun that we should put instead of Farida? Very good, it's she. So, she is the subject which refers to Farida. And there is another subject, which is Mahmoud. Mahmoud is replaced with what? With he. So the correct answer is he. So she refers to Farida and he refers to Mahmoud. Let's go to number two. I've just seen Tariq and Samira. I saw Tariq in the garden and I saw Samira in the kitchen. Again, 
I've just seen Tariq and Samira. I saw Tariq in the garden and I saw Samira in the kitchen. Where is the noun that should be replaced with a pronoun? Very fine, Tariq. Do you think Tariq functions as a subject or an object? Thank you, it functions as an object. Why? Because it came after the verb, I've just seen. So, Tariq is an object. So, what pronoun do we replace Tariq with? Very fine, him. So, him refers to Tariq. And we also have another object, which is Samira. Notice the second part of the sentence, I saw Samira. Samira came after the verb, so that's why it's an object. What is the suitable pronoun that we should replace Samira with? Very fine, it's here. So here refers to Samira. So him refers to Tariq, and here refers to Samira. Let's go to number three. These books could be Farida's or Mahmoud's, but I think they're probably Farida's, not Mahmoud's. Notice, they're probably Farida's, not Mahmoud's. What is the correct pronoun here? Is it subject, object, or possessive? Very fine, it's possessive. So, we use hairs. Hairs refers to Sami Farida's books. And what about Mahmoud's? We use his. His refers to Mahmoud's books. So, hairs and his are possessive pronouns. Let's continue. Now, let's read this. Sometimes we use one or ones instead of nouns. However, they are different from other pronouns. They refer to particular people or things in a larger group. We often use one and ones with the. Again, sometimes we use one and ones to refer to people and things in a larger group. Let's see. Here we have an example. Let's read. Do you see the group of girls in this picture? Well, the one on the left, the one on the left, you see, we replaced the girl on the left with the pronoun one, is Mona, and the ones on the right are Fatima and Rania. Notice, the one on the left is Mona, and the ones on the right are Fatima and Rania. Fatima and Rania are replaced with ones, so ones refer to the two girls on the right, while one refers to the girl on the left. So, sometimes we use one and ones to talk about things or people in a larger group. Let's continue. Here we have an activity in your books, page 38. Again, we are going to change from nouns to pronouns when you can. Let's start with the first example. There is a green apple and a red apple. Have the red apple. Notice the words that are underlined. We should replace them with what? With pronouns. And notice here we are talking about things in a larger group. So what is the suitable pronoun? Very good, one. One refers to apple. And we also replace the red apple with one. So, apple is replaced with one, and the other apple is also replaced with one. Number two, I haven't met all the people in the new houses yet. I've met the people in number seven, but not other people. Look at the words that are underlined. What do we replace the word people with? Very good, we replace it with ones. Because here, notice, people is a plural noun. And don't forget that one refers to singular nouns, while ones refers to plural nouns. What about the other word, people? We also replace it with ones, since it's a plural, right? Let's continue. Notice one, as I have just said, instead of a singular noun, once instead of a plural noun. And now, dear students, this is the end of our lesson. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed your time and learned. 
Thank you for watching. وصلنا أعزائي الطلبة لنهاية هذه الحلقة التعليمية ليمكنكم إعادة مشاهدة هذا الموقف التعليمي من خلال الضغط على الرابط أو الكود الموجود أسفل الشاشة شكرا لحسن المشاهدة والاستماع والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته